Right, hey, we have a special Willie Jackson session this morning because the fawn is joined by the Rose, Yvonne Tahana, one of our reporters. Yvonne, we had the Core Hangareo report come out this week. 24 hours after the release of, this, of, of the report, the SFO was called in to investigate. What's the latest on the saga? It was actually 12 hours later um, that this, the, the trustee, the unnamed trustee, sent this email, which has subse subsequently been sent on to the SFO. The question has been all week, who was that person? Um, and we, we can say that uh, three people in Wellington, credible sources have told us that Tony Waho, a trustee on um, the Kohanga Reo Na National Trust, uh, was indeed the person that uh, sent that email through to Hekia Parata's office. Uh, why is this so important? You know, he's a trustee who's broken ranks, mm. and I think that is very interesting speaking to the dynamics of the trust at this time. Mm. We tried to go to the trust for comment yesterday. <coughs> uh, they had a meeting at the Auckland Airport, an Auckland Airport, sorry, motel. Um, we were not allowed on the pre premises of uh, that motel. So we were unable to talk to them. We put in calls to um, Derek Fox. Uh, he hung up on us. We put in calls to different trustees. We called um, uh, Tony Wahoo this morning, uh, left messages. We haven't heard from them. So Tony Wahoo is the leak, uh, according to the allegations here at the moment. Uh, this is kind of, what, what would be his agenda, Willie? What's his agenda for leaking this information uh, to He you? probably wants to be the chairman. Of the trust. <laughs> In fact, I reckon, but he's cutting everybody else's throat. Well, that's what you have to do if you want to become the chair. You know, he probably wants to take out the old lady, uh, um, Fahiri mm. So, uh, look, he's uh, done some great work out there, uh, uh, Tony. Maybe he's, he's had enough. Maybe he wants more accountability. This might, might be what's driving him. Um, but I have absolutely no doubt. In fact, uh, I can confirm those people that you've talked to have talked to a number of people. So Tony, Tony's doing it. There's a power struggle in that trust, no doubt about yeah. that. Uh, and, uh, and, and some of them probably want uh, the old lady out, who's a matriarch, you know, been a fantastic uh, example for our people. Just caught out a bit here, though, because uh, there's a lot of challenges in terms of the processes, eh? how, how they roll things out. Shane, Shane Jones this week has called for a new board. <laughs> Uh, but he wants the luminaries to remain where they are. Eddie Tana, Farihuia, Timoti, he wants them to remain mm. there in some kind of custodial role. Is that sort of where you think they uh, should well, I don't think Jones is far off the mark. I think they need to bring some new blood in. You can't have lifetime trustees. Mm. You can't sort of say, I'm the chairman for life. You know, it's like, we know you're the chairman for life of your local kohanga, right? <laughs> well, you can't do that. So, you, you know, and you've got a job forever and a day. There should be some new blood in there because there's some angst out there. But I want to say there's not huge misappropriation going on in the kohanga, but the processes are wrong. The, the commercial arm they're arguing is on its own, but there's no doubt it's interlinked mm. with the trust. But this is obviously going to affect their Treaty of Waitangi claim too, because well, they wanted autonomy, but if, the government's not going to give them autonomy with all this. <coughs> well, they may do if they get a clearance from the SFO. So the Minister Hekia Parata has done the right thing. She couldn't do anything else, mm. but they have to do the right thing. And Hekia is furious with the board, Oh yeah, yeah, I, You can understand that, but, but yeah, as you know, Iritana, Timoti Karetu, Wharehui and Milroy, these people are uh, icons in terms of Māori, but they need a bit of a hurry up. They need people like yourself and others mm. on that board, great practitioners in the community. The board needs to be more reflective of Te Ao Māori, and it's not at the moment. And as well as that, they can't have 12 or 14 million in the bank, mm. and you've got poor hara kohangas out there breaking down, you know, windows falling apart and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. That seems to be the main claim. But we've got to get this right. We're not talking South Canterbury finance here, Yvonne. Mm. You know, we're talking about a bit of misappropriation process, and I just just hope that they're going to get it right over the well, weekend. Well, it sounds like Tony Wahl thinks he's the man who's going to put it right. <laughs> well, he's a, tra he's a traitor, probably, <laughs> according to some of them. OK, very good. Thank you very much, Yvonne. Magnificent. Well, I think he's my relation, too. Though. He probably is. Everybody is. Everybody is. <laughs>